Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, and verse 7. Yo. And thy shall teach them diligently. You shall teach your kids diligently. What does the word diligent mean, Trayvon? Just take a guess. What about you, James? The word diligently, what does it mean? Huh? Nice and kind? Okay. What about you, sis? Just take a guess. Firmly, distinctly, carefully. Read it again. And thy shall teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children, uh -huh. and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, uh -huh. and when thou walkest by the way, uh -huh. and when thou liest down, uh -huh. and when thou risest up. So all throughout the day, you're supposed to teach your kids the commandments. Now, you're not going to bring out a Bible and hammer it in their heads and, you know, to where they fall asleep. But every time, like, say you're out now. This is your son, correct? It's just like when you're out and you see, I'm going to be real. You see a man walking down the street in a damn dress. Right. You point that out, son. You know that men aren't supposed to wear that, right? Yeah, mama, I know men aren't supposed to wear that. Is this your son? When you see a brother out here selling drugs and selling poison to his people, son, you know you're not supposed to do that, right? Yeah, I know. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to get a job. That's what you do. That's training your, uh, teaching your children diligently that every opportunity that you have, you're implanting the word of God in them so when they grow up, they won't be one of these niggas out here killing their own people. That's, right. that's the importance of God's commandments. And so that way, that's how you fix the community. You first must start with yourself. And in that way, the next brother and sister that sees you, is they start saying, hey, I like the way the sister handled the situation when the other sister got in her face. She didn't go off the screen world star and punch her in the face. She just walked off. I like the way the brother get up every morning and goes to work. When everybody else wants to hustle and go to jail, and he, he ain't got kids everywhere. I like the way he's raising his kids. He married the sister he was sleeping with. He's raising his family. I like that thing. You know what? I'm going to try it too. That's, right. Right. That's the importance of A, knowing Jesus Christ don't look like this. That's right. Because this man teaches you you can do that. This man teaches you you can put on a dress. You can be a nigga. You can sell drugs. This man teaches you keep my commandments. That's right. This man teaches you, sisters, when this word is coming out, cover your head like you have. This man teaches you, you're not supposed to be having that on. Because did you know that what you have on right now, that's underwear. Teach, huh? yeah. See, but did you know that prior to you putting it on this morning? See, you didn't know that. And our job is to come out here and to, to show you and teach you, hey, this is what the Bible says. Do this, don't do that. Because you heard the brother read Deuteronomy 22 and 5, right? You're not supposed to be wearing that. Yeah. So what are you going to do from here on out? You're going to stop wearing it. Just like, Trayvon, I see you trying to inch off. Huh? huh? I see you trying to inch off. Come here real quick. Let me show you something real quick. Just real quick. Real quick. Don't be scared. You look on the bottom of all these brothers' clothes. Come here. Come here. You look on the bottom of, bottom of all these brothers' clothes. What do you see that all of these brothers have in common? They got black material. Did you notice these? These little stringy things. Have you ever seen these before? Not you didn't pay attention to him. Okay, that's an honest answer. Give me that number. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Because we're talking about God's laws, right? Did you know that you wearing these, that's a law. That's the equivalent to you killing somebody. That's the equivalent to you stealing. Because when we think sin, we think, oh, that's killing, that's stealing. No, by you not wearing these is a sin. Read. Verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon them the fringe of the borders, a ribbon of blue. So if you look, say you look at the bottom of this brother's garment, and even the bottom of his shirt, you'll see these stringy things which are fringes, and the top part of it is blue. That's a commandment. That will distinguish you from every other nationality, every other race of people. That's a commandment. So that's why I said it, sorry. With this man right here, 
you can do whatever you want. This man right here, you don't do what I say, I will kill you. That's right. Why do you think our brothers and sisters in our own neighborhoods die at such a rapid rate? Because they're not doing what they're told by this man. This man, everyone thinks when he comes back, he's coming back with rainbows and unicorns and suckers, right? right. Everything's going to be happy, right? right? This man is coming back. When he comes back, if you're not in line, he will kill you. Even today, James, by you hearing this word and be like, I don't believe nothing they're saying. You're at risk of dying. Trayvon, if you don't start paying attention to what God is telling you, not what we are telling you, because at the end of the day, I want you to fact check everything we're saying. If you don't do what this man tells you, he will kill you. That's right. And he doesn't care if you're in your 20s. That's why we come out here to show our people because we love you enough, James, Trayvon. What's your name again, sis? Kamisha. I keep forgetting it. He loves you enough to tell you, hey, look, give me Proverbs uh, 7 and 2. Bring it out. Hold oh, wherever you're at. I see it in Matthew. Give me Proverbs 7 and 2. Read what you got. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Yeah. Keep my commandments and live. And what? And live. Now the Bible said, keep my commandments and live. Now let's see what happens if you don't keep the commandments. Give me Amos 9 and 10. Matter of fact, no, matter of fact, give me Joshua 1 and 18. I like that one better. Joshua 1 and 18. Because we just heard, keep my commandments and live. Right? And the commandments, they're really not difficult. They're actually pretty easy. You got it? Read what you got. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, and verse 18. Oh. Whosoever he be that doeth rebel against thy commandments. The Bible says, whoever it is, it doesn't matter if it's man, woman, boy, girl. It doesn't give an age, uh, age range, right? You listening, James? Remember, the Bible says it doesn't care how old you are. It says, whoever he be that rebels against the commandments, read, whosoever he be that doeth rebel against thy commandments and will not hearken unto thy words and all that commanded him, he shall put to death. The Bible says what? He shall put to death. Whoever breaks God's commandments, God will kill them. It could be you, her, or them. He does not care. He'll put them to death because you didn't teach him. Because it's just like this. If you don't tell your son that stealing is wrong and he goes into one of these stores and steals something, will the police have mercy on him because he's little? No. They will shoot him down just like they will shoot him down. They'll shoot him down just like he will, they will shoot any man down here down. They don't care how old he is. Same thing with you. They don't care if you're a woman. They'll shoot you down if you go in here and you go ahead and break the law. God is saying the same thing. Whoever breaks my commandments will be put to death. You got it? Romans 6, 23. Yeah, 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 give me Luke. Okay. Read. This is the book of Luke 19 and 27. But those, my enemies, which would not that I should bring over them, Bring hither and slay them before me. This is Christ talking. He said, those who don't want me over them, if you don't want the black Messiah, the man that looks like you, to reign over you, because we all are going to have somebody tell us what to do. If you prefer to have this guy over you, the Bible says what? Bring them hither and slay them and kill them. That's how important all of this is. That's why I asked, when you leave, what are you going to do? Now, mind you, it's not going to be instantaneous. It's a process. you got to change things here and there. Just like Trayvon, I see you looking around. The, what, the first thing, I got you, the first thing when you leave, what are you going to do? You're going to go eat? That's what you're going to do? Did you know you're not supposed to buy and sell on the set? See, that's the law. Did, did you know that? That's why I asked, did you know that? See, that's one thing that y'all have to change. You have to read the book for yourself because all the information we're telling you is all on YouTube for free. Website, everything is for free. So nobody really has an excuse on, oh, well, I couldn't look it up. You got a cell phone? Okay, no, no, that's cool. You got a cell phone? 
It's like, but you have one, right? How about you, Trayvon? You got a cell phone? So that means y'all have access to the YouTube, right? You have access to the internet. All of the stuff we're telling you is free on the internet. So that's why we're telling you, hey, bro, look, it's important for you to get this stuff down. And you know what? Here, take a couple of them. So that's the thing is that when you leave here, look into the stuff, read the flyer, and fact check us. And be like, dang, is me wearing these pants worth my life? Is me doing whatever you're doing, is it worth the life of my wife and my kids? That's what we have to look at. All right? So from this day forth, implement what you read and read the Bible for yourself. Don't listen to what we say. Read the Bible for yourself. And when you read something, start doing it. Because the Bible is only effective if you start doing what it says. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.